The Pan Am qualifies for Tokyo, one of the 20 male and one of the 20 female. Pan Am Sports will probably realize that uh, having surfing, longboarding, shortboarding, and then SAP in both disciplines is really adds a lot of value. And I hope that um, the surfing and all this, the other disciplines will stay forever. I don't know, you know, I dream about this for 25 years since I met past former president of Pan Am Sports. And it was, it was kind of a dream. You know, I was dreaming about it. How it will do, what will happen, what it will take, how we will get about it, what hurdles were. You know, just what you think like in, in any endeavor. But uh, every day that I've been here in Peru, I wake up and it's, it is actually happening. It is just here. For me, it's funny because it doesn't feel much different from another surfing competition. So it's camaraderie between the team, the athletes, everybody hanging out. The biggest difference is that you know, you're hanging out and between the people that you hang out are presidents of Olympic committees, you know, coaches, managers, doctors, physicians, dietitians, you know, there's a lot more uh, entourage than we're used to. It's a, it's a good beginning. I think it's a little bit of a, a preview of things to come one year from now, you know, Tokyo 2020, where we'll see, you know, us uh, exploring in front of global audiences. This Pan Am Games and success in Tokyo will uh, feed further engagement with the Olympic Games and with the Pan American Games. So I think this is great. And you know, I'm looking at the ocean right now. And, you know, we've been talking for a few minutes, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. And the only thing, uh, thing I see is set after set, wave after wave.